Using data in ArcGIS to understand land and property ownership has never been easier. In this video, I'll explain how you can get started with loading Title Info and Ordnance Survey's master map datasets into ArcGIS Pro to identify your land ownership and asset information. The tools you'll need are ArcGIS Pro, a creator license, and the datasets Title Info and Ordnance Survey master map. To complete the first series of these videos, it should take about 20 minutes. If you are new to using ArcGIS Pro, we recommend you complete this training course in order to introduce you to the essential concepts that you'll need to kickstart your productivity using ArcGIS Pro. So scan the QR code on the screen or click the link in the video description below to view this training. For those of you who've already had some experience using ArcGIS Pro, you should be all good to go as you follow the steps outlined in this video. So let's start off quickly by talking about the data sets that we'll be using. Title Info allows you to view your housing association's land in addition to freehold land, leasehold land, commercial entities, adjacent housing associations next to your properties, and much more. It's a premium data service available from Esri UK which provides access to information on title plans published by the Land Registry. Title Info is available for England and Wales, and it combines corporate and commercial ownership data from Land Registry, UPRN, which is a unique identifier for each property in England and Wales created by the Ordnance Survey and kept consistent throughout all of their data sets. Title Descriptor Information from Land Registry, local authority information from Ordnance Survey and flood risk information from either the Environment Agency in England or the Geoportal for Wales. Title Info's online service is also available as an offline file geodatabase and an online hosted feature service. And you can subscribe to the dataset annually. The dataset is available at the national level or for a bespoke area service and the cost of the service will depend on the industry and area coverage required. If you'd like to learn more about Title Info, please scan the QR code on the screen or click the link in the video description below to read through our story map, which will explain how the dataset is used in more detail. If you'd like to trial Title Info, you can do so for 30 days if you do not already have the data, and the link for the trial can also be found in the video description. On to our next data set. Ordnance Survey Master Map Topographic Layer gives you access to the most detailed, current and comprehensive data set of Great Britain. Using Ordnance Survey's Master Map data for your housing association's land will enable you to derive asset data and visualise your residential buildings, garages, gardens, grass, verges and more. You can select the frequency that this data is updated. And if you'd like to learn more about this data set, click the link in the video description below or scan the QR code on the screen. Both of these premium data sets are available in a ready to use format through Esri UK. So if you'd like to learn more and subscribe to these data sets, then talk to your Esri UK account manager. To explore the data sets and investigate them, we will be using ArcGIS Pro. So let's load that up and get started. It should take about 20 minutes to get started visualising your data and preparing it to be shared with your organisation. So to start, you'll need to load Title Info and Ordnance Survey Master Map data into Pro. If you've purchased Title Info at the national scale, we'll need to begin by filtering this dataset down to isolate your ownership and the ownership of titles nearby. Right-click the Title Info dataset and select Properties then click Definition Query. We're going to filter by the field Proprietor Name 1 and type your housing association's proprietor name. It should be noted, your housing association could have multiple proprietor names, for example, co, dot, or corporation. So in this instance, we suggest changing this to contains the text and include a keyword for your housing association's name to ensure that you're selecting all of the potential layers that it could be named under. 
you could have multiple queries. So if your data sets meet the requirements of your first filter or the second one, or even the third one potentially, this would allow you to include multiple names that your housing association might be stored under. When you're done, select Apply and OK. Now that we've identified your housing association's ownership, let's save this layer so that it's faster to load the data. To do this, right click on the data set and press Export Feature. Create a new name and make sure you're saving the data set in the correct folder. As we will now be using this layer going forward, we can turn off the title info national data set as we won't be needing it at this scale. Now that we've identified your housing association's ownership from title info, let's overlay this with Ordnance Survey master map data to derive further detail about your assets. To do this, we will be using the clip feature. Navigate to the analysis tab and select tools. Search for clip in the search bar and select the first result. You're going to be inputting Ordnance Survey master map data into the input feature field. Select your title info data to go in the clip features field and give your output layer a new name and click run. Now we can see your housing associations, land ownership and the subsequent assets in great detail. Let's explore master map data in further detail to begin extracting building and green spaces layers. Click OS master map and select the feature layer tab at the top of the project. Click symbology and change this field to unique values. We're then going to select the field style underscore description. And now we can see our data come to life and we can distinguish between paths, buildings, roads, and more. We're quickly going to turn off other values as we won't be needing this layer going forwards. Right click and press remove. And that brings us to the end of the video. Make sure to save your work so you can come back to it at a later date. Following these steps, we have now successfully identified your housing association's land ownership and assets. Check out the next video where we'll be changing the symbology to better understand your assets and we will explore surrounding ownership around your housing association's land. See you next time.